The majority of myeloma patients are elderly patients. And one out of three patients with newly diagnosed myeloma is above 75 years of age. And with age, there come other health-related problems like comorbidities or something that is called frailty or disability. And what we have learned that, uh, especially in the elderly patients, one cannot say one size fits all. We have very effective treatments, but sometimes we also are um, between narrow margins in terms of efficacy versus tolerability. So then the question is how to um, uh, approach this. And um, one can do it intuitively and just say by clinical impression, I believe this is a fit patient or this is a less fit patient. But of course, this is subject to bias. So we need to have some scores that can guide the type of treatment in the elderly, especially in the more vulnerable patients. Now, there are several scoring systems, but it all started with the IMWG frailty score. And that goes back to many years ago, where uh, Dr. Palumbo and colleagues, they established a kind of a validated score based on age, based on uh, the absence or presence of uh, comorbidities, and also based on functionality, which is measured by activities of daily living and instrumental activities of daily living. So it's called ADL, IADL validated scores. And that allows to discriminate three groups. The fit patients, where you can just proceed like um, there is no limitation in terms of tolerability. And on the other side of the spectrum, the frail patients, where those patients need um, adjusted or adopted regimen according to frailty. But then you have also a, a large group of intermediate fit or intermediate frail patients. And sometimes it's a little bit more complicated for that subgroup. Um, uh, a drawback of this um, scoring system is that for some physicians, it is too time consuming just to measure ADL and instrumental ADL, which of course is very beneficial in order to know if a patient has other problems or they need particular support for, for some uh, specific uh, domains, like for instance, they uh, are in need of support at home. But therefore, based on this IMWG frailty scores, more adopted scores have been developed that have the same, let's say, sensitivity or that have the same way of predicting the frailty, but are a little bit more easy to use in daily clinical practice.